All right, Tara is throwing a volleyball. We'll t uh, hopefully, this is the last time I have to do this. Um, Tara is throwing a volleyball in the air, right? So at the very beginning, it is six meters per second. You guys should know this by now. I'm having some technical difficulty. At its maximum height, it goes up in the air and then it stops. So that's zero meters per second. Okay, that's a, that's a S for seconds. We also know that the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. We're asked to find high, how high it goes. Okay, and we don't know the time, but we do know the mass. Now the mass, I can tell you from experience, that isn't going to matter in this case. What was the mass again? 0. 0.5? Something like that. Let's erase my little mistake here. So what we got to do is we got to look at our kinematic equations and then determine if there is something that I can do. So when you look at these equations, I know that there are equations that I can use. For example, I know my velocities, right? So this is my initial velocity. I know my final velocity. So there's this one. Um, now normally it's a times t, but we did write this one down where it's g times t and so if it's a it's plus but if you make it g remember acceleration due to gravity is going to be negative so we would write it like this so look in your notes real quick you'll see this equation listed so since this is a free fall section we're going to use g for our acceleration on every problem there's a little hint there okay so what does that mean? Well, I know G, I know V naught, I know V. I can solve for T. I can figure out what T is. So let's plug the numbers in. Well, my final velocity is zero. My initial velocity is six meters per second. My acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared, right? Times time. Okay, so I put that in parentheses as a visual reminder that I should probably, um, I'm just saying that I'm going to think of that as a visual reminder of something I'll have to divide by later. So the first step is I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides, 6 meters per second, 6 meters per second. And I get negative 6.0 meters per second. Actually, I'm going to write it this way for the funsies. It's not actually for the funsies. It serves a very practical purpose. And that's equal to negative 9.8 meters per second squared times time. What the heck's going on? All right. So now the next step would be is I'm going to divide by this thing. Meters per second squared. 
So remember, when you're dividing by a fraction, you're multiplying by the reciprocal. So my negative 9.8 goes on the bottom, and the meters go on the bottom. Time seconds. So this right here goes on the bottom. But my second squared goes up here on the top. So this gets flipped and goes up on the top. Now what's interesting about that is I'm going to have some cancellations. My meters will cancel with meters, and then one of these seconds on the bottom will cancel with one of the seconds on the top. Does that make sense? So then the next thing that we have to do is actually do a little bit of math. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, now also, the negatives cancel, right? So that's something to think about. So I really end, I'm going to have 6 divided by 9.8. And I get about 0 0.062. So my, or 612. So my time, when I'm done with all this, will be, um, 0.612 seconds. But the question is actually asking how high does it go. So remember, the distance from here To, to the max height is delta y, right? Well, now this is an interesting one. If I, if I call this y naught, like the y zero position, we could call that zero meters, right? You can make whatever you want zero, so it doesn't matter if she's a, a, a half a meter off the ground. In other words, her hand's a half a meter off the ground. It doesn't matter. It just wants to know how high the ball goes. So then my final position would be the maximum height, which would just be y. So remember that y, delta y is y minus y naught. Okay. All right, so now I've got to go through, now that I know the time, I've got to figure out how to solve that. So somewhere in your notes, you should have this equation. Um, y is equal to y naught plus the initial velocity times time plus one half. I'm going to have to change that. G should be minus one half. Why is it minus? Does anybody want to tell me? Because g, whenever we use g, it's always a negative sign, because what direction is g going? Down. So remember that when we're going down, this is a negative y direction, and going up is a positive y direction. Okay? All right. Well, I know that my initial position is zero, okay? Plus my initial velocity, now in this case, it is 6.0 meters per second times the time, which is point, point six one two one two. I don't know why it does that seconds um, minus one half 9.8 I got right small so it'll fit in we'll put the units in later times the time point six one two I don't like how that looks So we'll say y equals zero meters plus six meters. Oh, that's frustrating. Per second. 
times the time, which is 0.612 seconds, minus one half, nine, per second. I wonder why it keeps doing that. <laughs> well, we'll put that in later. Six, one, two, seconds squared. So I gotta plug this in the calculator. So my first thing that I got to plug in the calculator is I'm going to say 6 times 0.612. And that yields that my final position over here is 2.25. 2.25. Five. Now the interesting thing, when I multiply this out, the seconds is on the bottom and it cancels with seconds on the top, so that leaves my answer in meters. So that's a good thing. Uh, and then this next one's a little more complicated. I got to do the square first, then multiply it by 9.8, and then divide it by negative 2. Alright, so let's do that. So I'm going to say um, point six. One, two, I'm going to square that first, times 9.8, divided by 2. So I've got about um, negative 1.83 meters. Now the units on that are a little bit challenging, but the meters... You'll have seconds squared over here that'll cancel with the second squared on this, and you'll be left with meters. So now I just got to say 2.25, right? 2.25 minus 1.83. Hmm, let me just double check this. I gotta double check my math because something is not quite right. Alright, so if I say 6 times 0.612, ah, how did I get 2.25? Do you see that? Did I do that on accident? Did you guys see that? Somehow, when I plugged it in the calculator, I made a mistake on this first one. So I'm supposed to get 3.67 for that first term. I don't know what happened. I must have hit the wrong button. 3. Point, what was that again? 67. We'll just say 3.67. So whatever that number is, we're going to subtract the 1.83 from. Minus 1.83. And so we get that our total, is that one of the options? 1.84 meters. There you go. Now it takes a while because I'm explaining it.